Hey everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, and thank you also for all the thousands of views and over 100 comments on my wet sand and polishing video. Um, it's great to hear from everyone. I'm glad it, I was able to, you know, teach you guys a little bit of something. So today we're going to talk about A-pillar rubbers, which <laughs> uh, the A-pillar is where the pillar comes down the, the edge of the windshield, front door bolts onto it. So some cars you have a rubber that goes between the fender and the door. Um, a lot of Mercedes have them. Um, sometimes they're very difficult to get off if you're trying to paint the fender in the door. Um, so I've come up with a quick little secret that you may or may not ever use, but if you do, you're going to be a rock star in your body shop. So a couple weeks ago, um, we had a rush job come in and the guy didn't want to pay to have the rubbers taken out. So normally what do you do? You either leave it and you blow over it or you try to fine line tape it, which you know as much as I do is an impossible task. So what you do is you go ahead and paint the whole car. You don't tape up the rubber. You paint the, the fender in the door within and then you know you, you bake it for you know we do it for like 20 minutes or so so what you do is you what you would probably tape off the you know the, the fender in the door really fine and take some black spray paint and spray over that rubber well we had to do that and within within an hour of the car being painted I went ahead and taped it all up went to spray the rubber the rubber ended up lifting all, all the paint. So, you gotta remember, you can put enamel over lacquer, but you can't put lacquer over enamel, because what will happen? It'll lift. So, basically what I did was, within an hour of the car being painted, when I taped it up, I killed the tape, so I you know ran it through my fingers a couple times, so it didn't make any marks on the fender or the door. And so I taped it all up, and I blew some black on the rubber, it ended up lifting, <clears throat> excuse me, it ended up lifting all the paint on the rubber. So I kind of had a little brainstorm and took my high pressure blower and blew all of the paint off of the rubber and it was basically like brand new. So the, the secret to that is doing it as soon as possible. If you wait until the next day that the clear was already hardened and it's probably not going to work. Um, so you need to do it within, I would say, within two hours of you painting the car. So it's a cool little trick. Some of those rubbers, you actually have to take the door off in order to put the rubber back on. And you, you know it's impossible to tape up and to make it look nice. So there's your quick tip for the day. Hope that helped. Cheers.